Good morning. Um, I feel much better today. Yesterday was a weird off day for me and uh, I haven't edited the vlog yet so I don't know what's in there. Uh, we slept in. It's, a, it's almost 10 right now. We have to meet people for breakfast at 10 so hopefully we can get out of here pretty quick. Um, we have to check out of our hotel room at noon so we have to go have breakfast with our friends and then come back quickly and check out of here and then we're leaving here at about 4 p.m. So we'll have four hours from that point. I'm hoping that I can find some time to just edit my vlog and post it, but that's probably not gonna happen until I go home tonight. Uh, yeah, I feel great. I have so much more energy right now. I can, I feel like I can just <laughs> take on the day, which is great. I wish I kind of felt more like that yesterday. Where are we going? We're going to breakfast. We're gonna go to the North Market and meet some friends at the North Market. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Yep. We went to get an event cancelled because Dirk's supposed to run the Maid RPG today but nobody has signed up for it so it's just easier to cancel it. I think one player actually signed up for it. So we went to cancel it at the customer at the uh, event HQ in the convention center. Turns out that's not something that they ever thought about doing ever. Our event is being run in the convention center at the very far end furthest away from the Hyatt. And they said that they'll cancel the event but we need to go to the RPG event HQ, which is in the Hyatt, again, on the opposite side of the convention center and then some. And we need to go ahead and tell them that we're canceling the event because they are the RPG event HQ, which is idiotic because they can't actually cancel the event because they have no technology. Only the HQ who we're talking to has that ability. They have no way to communicate with any other HQ. They don't have a walkie-talkies, they don't have a communication system, they don't have anything like that. And they have no way of telling the relevant HQ, which is in the convention center, where the RPG is going to be run, that that event has been cancelled. So the player that shows up for the event will have no idea that that event has been cancelled. But yes, that's what we have to do. We have to, we have to go ahead and go to that, like, why? Literally, why? Who designed this? Who... Who designed this? up our stuff we left all of our stuff in a friend's hotel room so we wouldn't have to deal with dragging our suitcases around the convention center it is now two o'clock and we have to leave at about four ish Derek had some meetings he's currently trying to I guess what he's currently trying to get a refund for um, his generics and then we're going to go into the exhibitor hall and check it out a little more Derek has one more meeting with 
a gaming company for Gen Con. And I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna try and stick around until four, which is when they kick everybody out. My, my hope was to play a few more games, but with Derek having meetings all the time, I'm not sure I'll be able to. Um, I was interested in a Dr. Evil game. Something, something comes out of Gen Con. And Derek was uh, interested in a Bast, uh, the, the game called Deep that is made by the people who make Bast. So we'll see if that happens. I doubt it, but. I just played uh, Dr. Evil in the Citadel of Time. It comes out at Gen Con. It is a cooperative game. It seems really neat and adorable and interesting. It is uh, definitely an action management game where you're all working together to steal back the treasures that Dr. Evil has stolen from places so you can return them to their rightful owners. It is a really cute game. It makes me feel a lot like the uh, the part in pandemic where things are getting inf infected faster or about the same rate as you're fixing things just in a game so constantly the professor is moving from room to room and he's activating and closing doors at the same rate that you are opening doors and turning off traps it's really neat to the folks at the badger booth since I have an airbrush and I don't know he didn't really seem like he wanted to talk to anybody so he was just silent I was trying to tell him that I had the badger and hoping that he would be like oh these are some useful things that you might want to do to want to buy to use your airbrush with but he was just like oh cool okay It's very pretty, it was neat that it was tarot themed, but I'm not sure that it really clicked with either of us. Um, it's kind of a tile laying game where you're cooperatively trying to score the most points, but uh, it's hard to maximize that unless you plan ahead. Hey Derek, what do you think of Unearthed? Uh, it's very neat. It's kind of like a, a bidding game, I guess, with really cool like voxel-esque <laughs> art. It's very pretty. So it's, it, seemed, it was pretty cute, very pretty. You're basically bidding and rolling your dice to, to hit the difficulty for any given ruin. 
and then you win it and you get points at the end, but you also still get points if you roll really low. You get some other stuff that might give you like a wonder or another special power or something like that. So like multiple avenues to victory kind of game. Over. We are at Columbus Airport getting some food before our flight, which is in about two hours. We're going to be flying back to, I think, Texas and then Seattle. We should get home at about 1 a.m., which isn't too bad, and I'm not working tomorrow, which is nice. I'm just going to be volunteering. So, in all, the convention was interesting, much more up and down than usual. I think this is the first time I really plan, tried to plan out my origins trip. I planned the events I was going to go to. Derek actually ran events. I ran some events. And I'm used to winging it a lot more. I'm used to just not expecting anything. I'm used to showing up, meeting up with friends, people calling me to hang out. So it's the first time I really planned a lot of it. And I think this is a convention for me where it is much better for me to not plan it. This is a convention where I want to just hang out with a lot of people, run into things that I want to try out, show up with generics and put something I'm planning on. The only time I would really uh, recommend that anybody get tickets for an event is if it's going to definitely sell out and it's in high demand. Other than that, I would just show up, show up with a bunch of generics. None of the events I was in ever sold out. Um, only one event Derek ran out, sold out, and extra people with generics showed up that we had to turn away. But if that happens, there's going to be something else that you can do. I tried a bunch of new games. I ended up playing Golden Sky Stories, which is the RPG where you're just magical, ghibli, animal people and help solve people's problems. Like the kid who was crying and sad because he broke his dad's favorite flute and we had to help him with that. That was really great. I'm really glad I got to try that out. 
I get to try out I get to try out some minis events which I really haven't done before. I tried out one green stuff event at Gen Con in the past. It was the level of that was really high. Um, here was fine. I think there could have been some more planning to make sure that everybody could see what the instructor was doing. Maybe some more hands-on stuff that we could try. Um, some more structure to the event would be nice. Um, the painting events I didn't enjoy at all. I just it, the style of painting that the guy was doing wasn't something that I was interested in. I really uh, I enjoy running the My Little Pony event. It's just cute and fun. It's fun to see adults come in and be really creative. It's fun to see kids come in and lose their crap because they get to paint a My Little Pony whichever way they want. I enjoyed the show. Registering for events is always kind of a little frustrating. Finding stuff uh, can be a little annoying. What we had to go do for for refunds and cancel events was very annoying. But it was still fun. I think we probably over planned or over booked. At least I did because I tried to play games and run games and have meetings. So I should. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that in the future, if anything. I don't know. I mean, I I think everyone should go to Origins. Do you have advice for people that want to go and how to approach it, maybe? I think go to Origins. Be relaxed. Expect a relaxed, laid-back show, and that's kind of what you'll get. Don't stress out about stuff too much. Try to make sure you got friends to hang out and game with. Go to the big bar on two. For you, Tom, a game was pretty fun. Finding my credit card was my favorite thing. Losing my credit card was my least favorite thing. Ryu Tama was a really fun game. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I basically just in the future I might schedule fewer meetings, try to figure out office hours where I'm just in the big bar, and then just go to Games on Demand or something. My favorite thing was probably just exploring the hall with you. Also getting to try Golden Sky Stories was really fun. I also enjoyed running the My Little Pony event. Least favorite thing was just interacting with Origins. Like inter having to deal with canceling events, refunds, organizing anything, where rooms were. All in all, a good experience. Um, I, I, I look forward to probably coming back next year. We're happy we're not working tomorrow. If possible, I do suggest arriving the day before and leaving the day after. Not many people do, so you will be probably by yourself. But for me, I think part of the problem was that I arrived the morning the con started after Red Eye and I had to go straight into it, and that's a, a little much for me. I kind of need a buffer evening or day. So I recommend that because that, for my mental health, is good.